jeans The was glamorous Not sure what it means But this photo of us It don't have a price Ready for those flashing lights Cause you know that What keeps you um, wanting to just inspire people to to keep it moving? What what makes you love being around actors? Um, well, I studied in San Francisco, and I studied at a place called Pacific Conservatory of Performing Arts in Santa Maria, California, acting. acting. Mm -hmm. And I have loved the art since I was 12 and I saw for color girls on our Broadway in San Francisco I, what keeps me motivated and wanting to inspire actors is because I've seen it I've seen it I've th the conversation I'm having with you is no different than the conversation I had with Mike Epps Steve Harris Wood Harris Michael Ely mm -hmm. Jamie Hector Lisa Gay Ham so I know it is true that because I'm a living example of living your dreams. So I do it every day. You know, I have a goal or I have some sort of vision of what I want to accomplish and then I see it happening. My life is like really magic. It's crazy. It's like your thoughts, your words, and the manifestation. It's a game that I play with myself. I'm like, okay, this is what, who I want to see today. This is who I want to talk to today. This is what I want to do today. And then it all happens. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm like, wow, thank you. That's like, awesome. Her you life know? is magic. Yeah, it's magic. That's awesome. It is. I, I, I don't know how else to describe the things that happen. And the fact that all of my friends are actors and that I sort of indirectly go on their journeys with them and um, from the emotional side, you know, you, you guys get beat up out there. Like, you know, I was in um, Eve's uh, pilot and uh, really, really, really um, important person was in the room at the callbacks. And uh, one of the girls was auditioning. And after she finished, she said, um, you're really talented, but mm, it's just not beautiful enough to be a star. Yeah. And, and I sat there and I said, you know, how do you how do you digest that? You know, she was gracious. She was like, well, thank you. And she walked out and, and, and I was very, I was driven to go after her mm -hmm. and tell her, don't believe that. You know what right. I mean? Because you'll get a show tomorrow and he'll be the same person coming up to you yeah. with a disguise like, oh my God, you're wonderful. And exactly. you're like, I know you. <laughs> you know what exactly. I'm saying? So I, I get a lot of actors when they're wounded. I get a lot of actors when their souls need like a, you know, you need to shine them up and, you know, blow some sprinkle dust on them. And, and I'm personally and emotionally connected to actors. And I just don't like to see you guys not happy. I think the and assessment I that I make when an actor walks through the door is the confidence. Because if you're walking through the door and you're happy to be there and, you know, you're ready to do the work, I'm, because I read with actors, so I'm ready. I'm like, all right, we're going to play. But if you come in and your body language reads, you know, you're looking down and, you know, and, and you give me this handshake where I'm shaking your hand like this and you're not giving me eye contact, then um, I pretty much know the direction that we're going to go in terms of the audition. I've been surprised a couple of times, but most of the time I'm pretty accurate. Um, and I think that it really is one, okay, yes, it's a nerve wracking situation. You don't think we nervous? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a bunch of people coming in and I don't know you, we meeting people, right. you know. But if this is the only way that we have for you to showcase your talent, why not make the best of it and have fun? And I'm gonna, Everybody gets nervous. Have a conversation with your nerves. Leave the nerves outside the door. Whatever you got to do. Tell your nerves to come with you and work with you. Right. But don't allow your nerves to overpower you mm -hmm. because then, you, then I question, why are you here? Why are you here? Like, I know that you're going to get nervous. I got that. But not to the point where it paralyzes you. Not to the point where... Um, you're you're just not comfortable at all in the skin of an actor, you know. Yeah. So um, for me, 
my audition space is comfort because that's the only way where you're going to really do the work. Mm -hmm. You come in, I got a bad attitude, I'm cussing and spitting, you know, like that's just not a positive environment. I'm not saying everybody have to do that. This is my environment. I work with you because that's where I'm going to get the best work. How do you feel about actors who crash auditions? Have you ever had that happen? Yeah. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not mad. I've done it. I'm not mad. If you're convincing, then I'm not mad. If you're convincing, right? Um, because I think that actors need to be clever. I think that, like, you know, I've been known to encourage actors to go to certain studios in Manhattan that have ongoing auditions and just casually walk in there like you're supposed to be and look at that board and see what's auditioning and just go to those studios and look at the sides. Maybe there's, because I'm that person that if I see somebody at an audition space and I didn't call them in, but they look right, I'll tell you to come in. Mm -hmm. Or if somebody comes up and when I used to be at MTV, this guy crashed the audition. I was auditioning all these white comedians, and it was the African American brother. And he came up to me and he was like, um, "Yeah, I'm here for the audition." I was like, "Really?" <laughs> and what audition would that be? He was like, "Oh, yours." Um, blah blah. Mm -hmm. And he was so convincing, like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, my agent Gersh." And I was like, R "Yeah, yeah." Did he tell you what the audition was about? He was like, "Oh yeah, you're looking for comedians." Did he tell you the authenticity of the comedians I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, you're just looking for it's open. I was like, you know what? I like you. <laughs> because you just, every question I had, you found a way and you were ready. You're ready. So I, I don't have a problem with actors crashing an audition if it's appropriate for them. And that's what I'm saying to your research. So if you're going to crash, at least look at the sides and see if right. it's right for you. And you could do that in New York. You can't crash auditions in L.A. Yeah, here it's really hard to do that. You're on a there. studio. Yeah. You're either on a, you know, you're on uh, Paramount, Warner Brothers. Can't that's security. You're, you're not getting past that security. Right. If your name is not on that list, it's so not happening. you grind in New York. Hustle here. And you're studying in New York. Not that you can't do in LA, but this is where you study. Why do you say that? Because New York is theater based. Mm -hmm. And I personally believe that some of our greatest actors evolve from theater. Theater is going to provide a discipline that film and television is not. Mm -hmm. Cut, line, that's film and television. Mm -hmm. Theater, it's live, man. Mm -hmm. You got to rely on you, your instincts, your, your cast, mm -hmm. you know, it's a different energy, immediate gratification mm -hmm. afterwards, you know, but the discipline in theater is different than film and television, and that's what I think every actor should experience. And then you, the, you, you have the best schools, you, I mean, NYU, the Juilliards, the Stella Adlers, you know, you have some of the best teachers here. You, so this is where, you know, where you get your footing, because LA is where you work. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, full length feature film. It's always, it's a machine, it's a machine. So when you, you know, I mean, when actors make that transition to go out there, then, you know, you're at that point where you've studied as much as you have studied, you feel like you have a foundation that's gonna parlay out there for you to at least be seen and start mm -hmm the movement of you working. Would you say? They have the stance, they have the swagger. When you sit in an audition, if I see 50 people, I'm only calling back two to five, okay? Uh -huh. Because everybody came in, did the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna get you a call back. For those flashing lights Cause you know that baby I I'm your biggest fan of fun